Good morning from Legoland, Florida. We're, We're here. here. We did it. <laughs> We're coming here today because they changed one of their coasters over to a VR specific coaster. It used to be called Project X. Now it's called the Great Lego Race. I do like VR coasters and I like when they turn like milder coasters over to VR because it's a better... Well, this one is like a, a wild mouse coaster. Yeah. I'll actually put a link to one of our other Legoland videos where I think you and Adam wrote it. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't actually been on it before. Well, let's go do it. As soon as we get inside, we see the familiar dinosaurs or dragons, but it looks like they've got some new ones over here picking up a larger Lego brick. What do you think they do? Like, will they paint this to make it look as bright as this one? Or will no. they just redo it all together with new Lego? I think that they can't paint it. I don't think you can paint Legos because they're made out of uh, HDPE or something like that. So oh. you have to redo it. Hey, Jen. Yeah. Pretzels. <laughs> Get your pretzels here. I wish he said it too. I do like that it's a beautiful day out it's and perfect. they're playing this like. Yeah, it feels good, you know? <laughs> yeah. So somewhere back here used to be this observation wheel that would go up and you could look all around this area, but they have since permanently closed it. It's one of the rides that was still left over from when this was Cypress Gardens. But what I don't get is this hotel, I thought there was a different hotel that was like little, um, almost like little duplexes. Yeah, that's across the street. What is that called? That's called the Beach Retreat. Uh, and this is just the Lego land. Hotel. Okay. Yeah. If you spend $60 in the big shop, you get an exclusive Easter minifig. He's dressed like the Easter Bunny and he's painting an egg. Ooh, are you running? You run into your favorite character at Legoland? Oh. Pizza! Get your pizza here, come on. Come on. <laughs> so here's my question. This place is called Pepper and Ronnie's Pizza Stop. And this is obviously one of the two. Which one is it? Is it Pepper? Because he's in the picture first. And where's Ronnie? Because that is most definitely not this guy. Looking over at the Lego Studio store, is that Steven Spielberg? Lego Steven Spielberg? Oh, I'm excited. We're standing in line to ride the carousel. I want to be on the top row. Me too. Okay. I don't know if we get to pick. I think they just like put us in there. Whoever comes in first gets on the top row. We're on the carousel up on the top level. It's a little bit scary because it's kind of like willy-nilly. It's a little rickety. We're just kind of like wobbling around. Yeah, and I have to stand here. I don't get a horse. There weren't enough horses on the top. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so much higher did than you me. Hear that? I did. That's it. I felt it. I think this pole's gonna break. No, it won't. Oh, did you hear it? Yeah. Am I too heavy for this? No. I know this is for kids, but there's a good bird's eye view of Legoland, and here's the horse's ears. <laughs> the horse's ears. You can really see the wind blowing your hair. It's pretty windy. That actually made me kind of dizzy because I wasn't sitting on something and I was facing backwards. Oh. I'm a little bit uh, discombobulated. Oh no. Oh dear. You remember when we rode that? One of the last times that we came here? It was frightening. Just, oh, they're having it. That's exactly how I felt. Oh no. I don't know if you guys can hear it right now, but this big structure right here, this is the Bach Tower, which is just up the street from here. And there's a clarion in it that they play and if you listen very carefully. You might be able to hear them doing a simulated clarion coming out of there. There it is. That's the roller coaster that we're headed to ride today. So here's the new roller coaster. It is actually right now an hour and 45 minute wait to ride this roller coaster. That's what happens when you put VR on a roller coaster. Holy cow, the last time we rode this, it was a five minute wait. I think probably the most intense thing is this is a very short roller coaster to wait an hour and 45 minutes for. That's it, that's the whole roller coaster right there. We decided that uh, we're gonna go around, maybe get some water, get a bite to eat, maybe go ride some other rides, and then come back and see if the wait time has changed. Because an hour and 45 is a very long time for us to wait because we uh, we have a dog sitter for today, but we don't have a dog sitter for very long. If we don't get on it today, because that's the whole reason why we came. I feel like every time we come to Legoland with a plan, we like, we ruin it. 
<laughs> but so if we can't get on it today, we will definitely come back yeah. and be sure to get on it. It's pretty intense here today. I feel like this is probably the busiest I've ever seen Legoland. All right, Jen, this is as far as we've ever been in this park. We've never gone down this walkway. We haven't? No. Why? I don't know. Oh. But we're going now. Mike, are you sure? Yeah. We have a bird's eye view of the driving school. This kid's not, not doing so good. Doing great, guys. Doing oh, no, I mean doing great. I like that they give people, like, this guy's got a taxi cab. The cop over there, the guy in the police car, just ran into the car ahead of him. I think it's really cool that they're not on the uh, line like they are at Disney on Autopia, on the Speedway, you know? Like, they can drive wherever they want to drive, which I think makes it a cooler ride for the kids, right? Yeah. I like, look at these kids. They're just, like, running into each other. Wait, what are these, like, little tiny go-karts? I think they're electric. I think they're just like golf carts. Let's ride flying school. I think you put it in a little cubby. They have like a fake metal detector over there because this is supposed to look like an airport. Ah! Oh no, I zoomed way in on our faces. Ah! Oh! Whoa, this is a kind of an uncomfortable ride. Ah! Oh! Oh, that was it. Oh, look at the theming. There's a little runway underneath the ride. Here's something we've never even stepped foot in. Is it $22? I think so. $22.50 to go into the water park, Legoland Water Park. It's included in our pass, so we could go in, but it's kind of strange because you have to go through the park to get to this. Yeah, it is kind of strange, right? But yeah, look. There's some people in a lazy river. And your floats have little Lego platforms on them so you can build on your floats. That's really cool. You have to buy tickets over here. So do you have to come into Legoland, buy tickets into Legoland, and then buy tickets into the water park? I have no idea. So we asked them, and apparently you have to buy admission into Legoland and then buy admission into the water park. You can't just come to the water park. Unless you have an annual pass, which right. we do. We have an annual pass. We have the Awesomer pass because they had a Black Friday sale, and I think we got it for like 200 bucks. For the both of us. Yeah, it was a great deal, so we had to get it. Okay. Whoa, check it out. There's uh, some private cabanas over there. Oh, that's cool. How I many of them are there? <laughs> about three. About three. <laughs> There's a giant white whale. It's Moby Dick. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh this is pretty neat. There's kind of a lot of stuff here that I didn't know was here and some slides over there. We'll have to come back and ride like the slides one day. I want to actually come and stay at the Beach Retreat Hotel and like have a, a water park day and a Legoland day. Yeah. This is a motto I live my life by. Let's have fun. Please don't run. <laughs> There's a place to eat over here called the Beach and Brick Grill. Looks like you can get burgers, fish and chips, hot dogs, or chicken tenders. I hope they have some Lego themed surf stuff like a Lego bathing suit. Oh. I thought this was a uh, picture frame made out of a towel. <laughs> it's not, it's just like a hooded towel. Oh, they have Legoland socks. Oh, those are fun. Huh. So if you're here at Legoland on a busy day, just know that the water park will be even busier. <laughs> I feel like back here towards the water park and towards flying school, there's kind of a lack of Lego theming. Yeah, it's, sort of, it's like an in-between. Yeah. We came across a news interview. What do you think he did? Why is he being interviewed? And what questions do you have for him? Is it an interview? It is. Is that a camera or is that a, a radar detector? It kind of looks like a bazooka. I don't understand what's happening. I think it's a camera though. And how come he's not looking at them? I don't know. He's like, no, don't film me. Maybe it's paparazzi. Maybe it is. It's very close. Yeah. Well, maybe it is because this guy looks like a movie star. He does look like a movie star. He kind of looks like Elton John. But he's so upset. Why is he so upset? There's a lot of unanswered questions here. There's like a whole booth that they had for trading minifigures. Look at them all. There's so many of them. That's really neat. There's the giant Einstein. Giant Einstein's my band name. We're gonna try out the Panini Grill, I think. I feel like it should be enormous Einstein. Oh yeah. Because it's alliteration. I like that a lot better. You're so much smarter than me. No, I'm not. I just wanted to look at this menu here. Oh, Looks kind of good. Yeah, we can get like a ham and cheddar or whatever that is, panzanella. Mm. Mm. Sounds interesting. Here's our paninis. We got ham and white cheddar. I feel like mine looks better. Yours <laughs> does look way better than mine. How come yours isn't a panini? They said that some of them come out darker. One machine makes them darker than the others. 
and yours is fresher too. Well, we can split it. Like I'll have half of the bad one, and you have half of the good one. You know what I mean? So what round? Yeah. No worries. Then these were with chips, ten dollars a piece. I don't know that it was worth ten dollars. I'm eating it, but just the, the size. Because I feel like you get a better deal at like Redbox, right? Oh yeah. So, we'll see, maybe it'll taste really good. Yeah, eat that sandwich. Oh no, hot pickles. Oh my god, it's so hot. Oh no, but what do you think of the sandwich other than the hot pickle? I like how they have all this Lego theming in here, but we can all agree on one thing, right? That bird's pooping. How does a bird poop? Like a Lego bird poop. So what did you think of your panini? I actually, I think I spoke too soon. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was giving it like a bad rap when I shouldn't have been doing that, it tasted pretty good. No, there weren't any wraps there, it was panini. <laughs> right, yeah. So, it, did, yeah. it did burn the heck out of your tongue though, right? It did, yeah, so the tomato was really, really hot, because the sandwich was very fresh, which was good, that's good. But it was so hot that the tomato burned the top of my mouth. I don't think it was worth $10 though, but it no. wasn't a bad sandwich. No, and I think it's just you have to keep into account, like this. these are theme park prices, right. like we're out of theme park. But I did enjoy the lunch and it filled me up. And now, I feel like we should go see what the wait is like at the VR coaster. Let's go see it. What is it called? It's called the Great Lego Race. Hey Jen. Yeah? If you could choose only one thing, uh -huh. would you choose a monkey? Would you choose a monkey in a Hawaiian shirt? Or a monkey in a hula skirt? Oh, I think I like the one in the Hawaiian shirt better. Ah, but did yeah. you see? She's super cute. She's got heart shapes in the, the blacks of her eyes. Even nice little eyelashes. Yeah. Huh. We're going to check the wait time on the Great Lego Race VR coaster, but if we don't get on it today, just imagine that this is us. Like, I have a feeling. Yeah. Look. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, it looks like you're on the ride right now. What does a VR headset look like this? Yep. It's perfect. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is. You're on the ride right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Race? I think so. Alright. See me on the roller coaster, I'm more like Keanu Reeves sitting on a park bench. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, I'm guessing an hour. I'm gonna guess yeah. one hour and five minutes. Okay. The price of, price of uh, what is it? Closest without going over. But it's the prices, right? Rules? Yeah. yeah. We just checked the wait time for the roller coaster. It's too long, we can't do it. It was, the, it was the exact same wait, so yeah. it seems like we thought maybe, you know, towards the end of the day that maybe the excitement level would die down, but people are still very excited. And so. we did we did ask them, they have like a fast pass, quote unquote, type queue, mm -hmm. but the only thing that's offered here in the park today is a awesomer fun pass band. He, I don't know what he said it was called. It's, yeah, I forget the name of it. It was $85 for the whole day per individual, and it was yeah. basically just like a front of the line pass. And then you could, he said you could get, a, he said you could check online and reserve a one, like a one ride fast yeah. pass type deal for $5. For the whole group, he said. Right, it, it, it was for the whole group. That's what he said. He said $5 for the whole group for one ride. I feel like maybe he's misspoken. I think it's $5 per individual for one ride. Okay. Which is still a great deal, but you have to reserve it online 24 hours in advance, and then they send you a barcode, and then you bring that to the park and yeah. then they give you this paper, I guess. Yeah. So we didn't we didn't know that. So we did not reserve it 24 hours in advance. So we don't have it. <laughs> so we'll have to ride this a different day, I think. Yeah, but I think what we'll do is maybe before we come back, we'll do that. We'll order it online, show you guys how to, like how we did it, show you guys what, you know, what the process is, and then we'll come and ride it. Yeah. So maybe this will be like a whole nother cool vid that we can do later. Yes. So we're gonna head over in this direction because uh, I'd like to find a nice quiet spot. And I believe that the gardens that from, and I believe that the gardens from when it was Cypress Gardens are still back here. Yeah. And it should be nice and calm. Oh no, there's a crazy pirate show going on over there. You hear people yelling? <laughs> I like how you're like, it's nice and calm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like today is the perfect day to sit on the grass here. I was just gonna say, I love this. Yeah. This reminds me of like old, like old theme parks. Check it out, a bunch of people from around the lake that live here park their boats along the uh, seawall here to watch the water ski show. What if we lived on Bay Lake? Right? Wouldn't that be cool? That would be intense. <laughs> Why are we cheering for the pirate? We're not supposed to do that. A 
fun fact about Tim, when I was younger, I used to wakeboard a lot. And at one point in my life, some of the skiers that run in this show asked me if I wanted to come and learn how to be a better wakeboarder here and be in the show. You should have done it. I didn't want to do it. Why? Because I don't think that I was good enough. Like, I couldn't get good enough to be in a show. Well, they were going to teach you. Uh, no, it was also very far away from where we lived. <laughs> <laughs> I still do know how to wakeboard. I'm just not very good at it. We should do that. We should have a, a lake day. No. Do you know where they offer wakeboarding? Where? Walt Disney World. Oh. Oh my goodness. She's the belle of the gardens. <laughs> Look at her. Why, why, does, why does she have like a secret spy camera on her neck? Is that what that is? No, it's like a pendant, but it does look an awful lot like a secret spy camera, doesn't it? Oh. Scary. I think it might be Big Lego watching on <gasps> They got him. Oh no. They got him. <laughs> We're heading into the woods. This is kind of frightening looking because I don't know where we're going. Ooh, look at the tiki gods of the gardens. Some form of animal over here somewhere. I just saw it like duck back under when we came around the corner. It was white though, so I don't know what it would have been. This is probably the most confusing sign I've ever seen in my life. Why even have a sign? Just be like, go wherever you want to. No matter where you go, you'll be somewhere. Another behind the scenes view of the boats over here. These are the guys that are performing in the show right now. Where are their skiers? Oh my God, there's so many mosquitoes out here with us. I think the skiers like jump in the water and grab the line. Whoa. Like I don't, I don't think they're attached to the boat. You know what I mean? Wow. Which is pretty, yeah, pretty impressive. There's like a bench here that we could watch the show. Oh, we should. Nobody ever comes back here. Oh, look, look, there's, there's Miss Miranda. Miranda. You think she'll wave at us? Hi, Miss Miranda. She's literally water skiing. She can't <laughs> wave at us right now. Why not? This is exciting. Look. Oh yeah. Is it going up on the thing? No. Oh. <laughs> Definitely looked like it though, didn't it? Yeah. They're standing on each other's shoulders. They are? They're gonna make like a pyramid. Whoa. It's times like these that I wish I wore my glasses. I can't see anything. Oh no. I feel like <laughs> this is probably the worst view that we could have of this, but. <laughs> They're doing it. Is she getting back down now? Oh, she's getting back down. We missed the we missed the big reveal. We're trying to find our way out, but none of this looks familiar. Oh, did we not come in this way? Uh, no. Where are we? I don't know. Oh no. I think we took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Oh no, spiderwebs. Oh no, you're walking in the spiderwebs. I really am. Quick, are these real or are they Lego? Uh, unfortunately, Jen, it's oh. reaching that time that we have to get home to Bandit. Oh no. I know. At least we got to ride uh, one ride, right? Well, we got to ride the carousel when we came oh, in. Yeah, two rides. Which I, we had never ridden that, so I was actually very excited to ride the carousel. Yeah. And then the flight school, which was kind of scary. Oh. It was more intense than I thought it was going to be. So if you're looking for like a more thrilling ride, I think that's it. Yeah. There's a drag race going on. Who's going to win? Do it. Oh, look at him go. Who's going to win? Is it a Thunderbird? Uh, I don't know. One looks like a Camaro and the other one looks like a 57 Chevy. Oh. I think one of the most interesting things about today, aside from my hair, is that uh, <laughs> it's busier today than it is at the special events like like Brickmas or the, the Halloween time. Oh yeah. Brick or treat. Which is interesting to me. I guess because it's the, it's the middle of the weekend and yeah. it's uh, spring break so the kids are out of school. Maybe that? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. But I think kids are out of school during Halloween too, aren't they? For fall break? Yeah. Legoland has their own fun run, April 14th. I like how she's in her jazzercise outfit. Yeah. I like turtles. What is this? Oh, it's a snake. Yeah, she's a oh, snake. Oh, it's a snake. A snikey. No. Oh, yeah. is it like Schnikes? Maybe. Who's Zane and Cole and Kai and Jay? Those oh, are, are the from people from Ninjago. Ninjago. Sorry. All of these people are from Ninjago. Oh no, I guess maybe just these. I don't know, are these the bad guys from Ninjago? Oh, Lloyd, yeah, he's the best. He's a ninja master. I think I like um, the snake guy the best. I, you should really like Lloyd because he's the ninja master. Oh, okay. Am I, I think I identify more with the bad guys. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Inside the studio store, they have a Batman space shuttle. Does he have a space shuttle? I mean, he, he should, right? He's Batman. He's Batman. There's the uh, Easter Batman. What do you think, Jen? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, sorry, did I? You scared me. Yes. Look at this. It's a Lego, oh, cup. It's a Lego cup. 
like the Lego minifigures have. Like you are a minifigure right now. Oh my, look at these things. Wow. I think it's from Ninjago, yeah. It's that guy. Oh no. I feel like we might be able to get a view of that observation wheel. I keep calling it a wheel. I don't know what, a disc? Observation disc? Do you guys remember it? It was like a, a circle and then it would go like this. Yeah, like a crane. But it was like, you were, like it wasn't scary. You were always just standing straight up and then it would just lift up really high and then go back down to the ground. Yeah, I think we can see it from over here. Is it still there? It's still there. Why would they close it if they're gonna just let it sit there? It's uh, pretty old. Oh, he's got a toilet. He talks too? You talking too? You got a pizza? Coming true. <laughs> Toilet coming true, watch out. He sounds like, uh, he sounds like... He does sound like somebody, like a person. What's his name from, from Bob's Burgers? My name is John. Like oh, the guy, the, what is his name? Yeah, I said you, knock, knock. Who's there? Gladys. Gladys who? Gladys you, I wasn't sure it was the right bathroom. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Plumbing jokes. He does sound like... He said toilet humor. Oh, that's really funny, but he does. He sounds like Teddy from Bob's Burgers. See, there it is, down there. This is what I was talking about that is now closed, but we wrote it one of the, oh, okay. Well, that kind of explains a little bit too, but there it is. It's this colorful thing back here. I feel like we're doing an abandoned video right now, right? Doesn't it look like that? We're not, we're definitely well within the park right here. We're right next to a bathroom, but there's, there it is. I wonder if that had something to do with it. Maybe it got some damage from the hurricane and just never reopened. Well, there's a Legoland press penny machine, and I think that these characters right here are not only from the beach resort, but also part of the great Lego race ride. I think there's like a surf team. Which we wouldn't know about because we didn't make it on the ride. <laughs> I'd know about the surf team if I had gotten to ride it. One day for sure, we will definitely be back to check out the Legoland Hotel over here. I like that it's decorated like it's made out of Legos. But is it specialty themed inside? Yeah. Oh, it is, okay. Yeah. Can I just say, I just got out of the bathroom and the most amazing thing is in that bathroom. What? There are lights over top of each stall that tell you if the stall is occupied. Oh, that's so smart. Did you did you see that in your bathrooms? I don't think so, but they I were, wasn't looking for it. Was it I like wasn't, easy to see? No, because oh. well, it was once you saw it. Like okay. once you looked up and you're like, hey look, there's lights up there. Right. And this lock, whenever you lock the lock, I looked at the locks and I was like, these locks are weird looking. Oh. Why are they so strange looking? And I was like, well, maybe it's some sort oh, of tell. They're attached to the light. Yeah, they're attached to the light. Oh. Brilliant. Every bathroom in the world should have that. Well, there you have it. That was our trip to Legoland, Florida. We had a bricktacular day. Oh, oh no! no! I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just a strong gust of wind. You know, these things are an issue sometimes. <laughs> But I am kind of sad that we didn't get to get on the ride, but we will definitely be back to ride it again. Yeah, for sure. Because I'm excited to see what the VR is like. I wonder who who's going to win the race. Who? So, with that being said, we are off, and we will see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's, it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price. Get your pizza here. You like it a pizza? Come on inside. I have some of my fresh pizza. It's a nice and tasty. Nice and tasty. Get your tasty pizza here. What do you like? You like the pepperoni? I got the pepperoni. Come on in. I got the pizza for you. Pizza!